Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Big mango. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about, guys. Get him in the boat. Oh, it's a big mango. All right, guys, what is up? Welcome back to yet another video. And in today's video, we are actually on the East Coast fishing the Indian River. And the game plan for today is we're going to be fishing with live shrimp, fishing all around structure for mainly mango snapper. And then also, if the weather is good tomorrow, we're going to make this video two days of targeting mango snapper with live shrimp. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. And uh, I think that's about all I have to say. Last thing, the reason I'm over in the East Coast fishing the Indian River is because where I'm from, Tampa Bay, the red tide hit us really bad. So I traveled on over to the East Coast where I'm at today. And yeah, we're fishing the Indian River. So hopefully you guys stick around, stay tuned, and make sure to enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys on the chest cam. All right, guys, what is up? Today, we got live shrimp and we are fishing the indian river it's not my first time here but it's my first time here on a boat pretty excited i've heard a lot of great things about it fishing on a boat you can cover more water and get to better areas and uh, that is what we're doing right now we got 20 pound liter tied to a little crusher jig looks like this and then we got a live frisky shrimp right now we're just fishing these poles a little snapper probably about a seven eight inch snapper came right off those that structure right there a lot of a lot of food over there where this guy was chewing on like uh oysters and barnacles but uh yeah first fish of the day hopefully we get a lot of bigger stuff see you bud we're working the shrimp through the tail just like this just like that and we're gonna toss it oh we just got eight better fish Big snapper. Here buddy goes. I didn't even know that guy was hooked. Another solid snapper. Another keeper I bet. He's probably right at 10. If not a little bit over. A little snapper ate instantly man y'all saw that here number three or four i don't really remember but here he goes this one. One. oh yeah that's a nice one <laughs> that is a really nice one but yeah, man, look at that. Another probably 11 inch, 12 incher. I uh, I ripped the shrimp in half instead of using a hole because they kept just eating half of the shrimp. So I was like, well, if they're eating half, then I'm gonna just throw half. So I threw half and this guy destroyed it. So it, I'd say it worked out. Let's release his buddy, here he goes. All right, guys, what is up? It is day two out. It's a little, little bit more windy today. Not as foggy, still a little overcast. But uh, we got the same rig same setup and all got 20 pound liter a little crusher jig white crusher jig I, I believe it's 116 pounds and then we got live shrimp again and today we're gonna be trying to get some dinner there we go uh, he might keep He'll probably be the smallest one of the day, so I'm gonna throw him back. First one of the day, guys. Hopefully, we get a uh, lot more and bigger size. See, you, bud. Oh, I was not ready for that. That was a nice one. Oh my god. about the same size snapper today but they should be they should get on fire sooner or later 
But hey, can't complain. We're coming after the targeted species. Just not the right size. Nice one. Oh, there's schools. <laughs> that was sick. Um, I think that one will keep, yeah. This one we, we could keep, yeah. Actually, no, nah, we'll throw him back. I thought he was bigger, but he's, he's just a fat 10 incher. All right, I've already lost count, but here's another 10 incher by far. They're just eating it so heavy. They're all on these little poles, a bunch of structure, a bunch of feeding stuff down there, tossing live shrimp, and they're just hammering it. I really don't know. I think it's like maybe the fifth, sixth, fourth, something like that. But here he goes. I waited too long and I got broke off. Yep. Waited way too long. My whole leader is frayed. All right, guys. So I retired once again because the big fish, the big fish, they're gonna, they're gonna get you quick. And a lot of the times, I don't pay attention much. And I'll let them run with it. <laughs> and they'll just bring me right into the structure. And then when I hook set, they just break me off. So when you're fishing for fish, any fish in tight structure, always be on your A game because they will wrap you up. They will break you off so quick. You won't even know. Like that one, I didn't really know he was going in the structure. Next thing you know, hook set, boom. And then I'm like, oh, he went in the structure. So yeah. But I mean, for this type of fishing, snapper fishing, all you need to do, find structure. Make sure there's flowing water so the bait and all the crustacean can get into the structure. And the feeding fish, like game fish and all that good stuff, they'll be there. So just get the right bait, match the hatch, and uh, you should you should do pretty good. There we go. Oh a trout. That's a that's a new species for this video. Got a nice little trout. There he goes. That is awesome. Never would have thought a trout came off those poles. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Big mango. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about, about guys. Get him in the boat. Oh, it's a big mango. Really big mango. Really big mango. Really big mango. Oh my god. Oh, that is devastating. Bent the hook as expected. I told you, man, these fish are strong. Especially ones that are in structure and all that. They get strong. I think what I did wrong there was um had it tight so I could get them out the structure. And then once they were out, I should have loosened up. Dang man. It's all right. It's okay. It's all good. Dang it, man. Finally stuck a solid one. Oh yeah, that's a fatty. That's a keeper all day. We're keeping him. Another mango. Man, we are on fire today. See you bud. All right guys, so it is currently like 7.40. The wind is picking up around the 8 30 ish so i got like i'd say an, a good hour or so left i'm gonna try to get a couple more snapper but i mean for like an hour and a half of fishing a little morning sesh this is not bad at all this is super fun it is not hard either so and what i'm doing is i'm casting to the structure and i'm just free lining with the little crusher jig i have and i'm watching my line go and when it goes that just tells me i have a fish like right now i have a fish Told you. Oh, that's a bigger one. I'm gonna loosen up. Loosen up. 
with these smaller hooks i gotta loosen up i've learned that when i hook a better fish i gotta loosen up get in the boat ah there you go oh yeah he's a keeper he's probably about 11 12 easily so that's two keepers we got i'm gonna throw him in the box i think we got a fish <laughs> that is so sick this comes right out of the structure man like as you expected this one might be one of the ones i lost i think it is first off we're gonna take this hook out of him so if this is my fish whoever hooked it whether it being me or someone else the hook is all the way down his throat so with messing with that say i tried to get the pliers in there and dangle down his throat it could possibly kill him so the hook will rust out eventually so i'm just gonna let him go see a snapper so i just casted right near the structure i don't want to be on the structure because then again like i said earlier that is a really good way to get cut off or broke off because if you're so close to the structure these fish are smart they're just going to run straight to the structure so i cast just about a foot or two feet off of it maybe three and um if they see it they'll eat it there we go that's a nice one yeah he's he's probably 11 12 we'll keep him yeah he's definitely a keeper all right so i think we're gonna catch just a tad bit more and because i don't want to take advantage of this and then get caught in bad weather learned that the hard way so we're gonna catch a little bit more and then make a run in fish on here we go These fish are so fat and so healthy, and it's just so fun. Look how chunky that guy is. Better one. Eh, never mind. He's small. Fish on. We might have a fish. I think we do. Oh, did he break us off? Well, y'all know what that means, like I just said. We're hitting the road. I could stay and use other hooks, but the water's getting a tad bit choppier, and we already got three keeper snapper, which is plenty. So, all in all, not a bad day. We've been out here for like an hour and a half. Really good morning solo sesh, and uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys back at the ramp or something like that all right guys well as you can see we are not at the boat ramp we are in my car when i got back to the boat ramp it was really busy and i didn't want to waste time filming the outro there so i just decided to leave the boat ramp and film my outro somewhere else which i'm doing right now but yeah i don't have much to say if you guys enjoyed this video leave a comment down below and i will make more videos just like this and if you guys want to see me fish the east coast again as well leave a comment down below and i will for sure make another trip out here lastly i just want to say thank you guys so much for the support lately also if you guys haven't already make sure to drop a like if you enjoyed this video if you guys aren't already subscribed make sure to subscribe it is free to do so and i will greatly appreciate it but uh yeah i think that's all i gotta say for this video so uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video